I never growing up had anything designer. You know, my mom wouldn't let me. I think I got my first pair of Louboutins when I graduated high school. After about a year and a half living in her Manhattan penthouse, Bella Hadid is moving once again. It was reported that she just sold her 2,000 square foot crib for $6.5 million after it was only a week on the market. The upscale unit boasted features like a rooftop deck and an industrial vibe with exposed ductwork, metal columns, and more. It's not clear where Bella's moving to next, but she also spends a lot of time on her family's Pennsylvania farm when she's not traveling the globe. Today, we're gonna see where the supermodel calls home. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Bella Hadid is a model who also grew up in the spotlight. Her family was a fixture on the reality series, The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, where we first got introduced to Bella and her sister Gigi as kids. These days, Bella is signing contracts and modeling for big brands, living out in New York City with an estimated net worth of about $25 million or more. Forbes has even named her as one of the world's highest paid models out there. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, this time checking out where Bella Hadid calls home. Be sure to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications. Help us get to 500,000 subscribers because we post brand new videos daily. As always, you can follow me over on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. In recent news, Bella's New York City penthouse sold after only about a week on the market. She actually listed the unit, located in the Soho neighborhood of Manhattan in spring of this year for $6.5 million after quietly purchasing it at the end of 2019 for $6.1 million. Bella lived here for a while, even though she spends a lot of time at her mother Yolanda Hadid's farm in Pennsylvania, which is where she also spent most of the pandemic. The model's upscale loft-style penthouse is in a luxury doorman building and spans 2,569 square feet of space with two beds and two baths. The building in which Bella lived was built back in 1877 and used as a silk showroom before it was transformed into fancy residences in 2016. The boutique building stands six stories tall with 14 units throughout, offering the utmost privacy and security that Manhattan can offer. Residents of this building, like Bella, as well as her older sister Gigi Hadid and her man Zayn Malik, who once lived here, could enjoy oversized windows, soaring ceilings, and iron and wood columns in their apartments. The building also has perks like a fully staffed lobby, bicycle room, package room, and a landscaped rooftop terrace. But Bella actually had her very own terrace. Her penthouse came with a private rooftop terrace that was fitted with a spacious dining table and outdoor heaters to keep things cozy in the colder months. Inside her large apartment, there was an airy and seamless layout and the unit was renovated shortly before the model moved in. The open floor plan boasted a living room, dining area, office, and kitchen, all connected within the great room. There were hardwood floors throughout warmed up with plush rugs and there were unique red brick vaulted ceilings overhead. Other features that gave the apartment an industrial feel included exposed metal columns and ductwork, which was also super stylish. Bella's New York apartment had a luxury living room with built-in shelving, radiant chandelier, as well as large windows with city views. She also decorated the room with a fuzzy rug and some plants to make the space warmer and welcoming. Next to this space, there's the modern kitchen, which is spacious and fitted with new, top-grade appliances, as well as a massive center island made of black marble, which waterfalls off the sides. There's also an upper level in the loft-like unit and underneath the stairs, you'll find the convenient 100 bottle backlit wine cave next to the dining area. Moving to the master suite upstairs, Bella's bedroom was spacious as you might expect and offered the same red brick ceilings and hardwood floors as the main floor. There were oversized windows, a walk-in closet with custom glass shoe display and a luxe ensuite. Her attached bath had a floating his and her sink along with vintage bronze fixtures and a large glass walk-in shower. I can also see a very cute rug in this bathroom too. The second bedroom is obviously not as impressive and doesn't have its own ensuite, but it does have a custom closet at least. 
One of the major selling points for Bella's Manhattan penthouse has got to be that private rooftop deck because it's such a rarity in the city and it's surrounded by wood panels for even more privacy. The listing was held by million dollar listing New York star real estate agent Ryan Serhant and clearly her home didn't stay available for very long at all. It's unclear where Bella has moved to for the time being since she's often jet setting across the globe but she does spend plenty of time at her family's Pennsylvania farm. Bella actually spent most of the quarantine at her mother Yolanda Hadid's sprawling farm estate where the whole family is always welcome. The $4 million property spans 32 stunning acres of land in Pennsylvania and Yolanda purchased it in 2017 to be closer to her daughters Bella and Gigi while they live in the city. Considering how much time Bella and her siblings actually spend at the farm, it seems like it was a great investment. This could even be where Bella is staying now while she's looking for a new dwelling in the city. The farm property boasts room for everyone with multiple homes and cottages and we can also see there's a beautiful pool out back as well. The estate spans 5,000 square feet inside and on the grounds there are horse stables, gardens, a cozy fire pit and even a botanical garden where Yolanda makes her own essential oils and line of gin. Aside from the horses, there are also chickens, goats, sheep and Scottish Highland cattle who call the property home. I don't know about you guys but I would love to live here. The main house was originally built in 1781 and retains some of the classic features. There's a beautiful porch outside flanked with columns and a stone exterior. One of the loft-like bedrooms inside faces a massive glass window overlooking the garden and boasts wood beam ceilings overhead. The sprawling master bath has hardwood floors as well as a Victorian tub and a walk-in shower. Downstairs, the double height living room has exposed stone walls and rustic vintage furnishings, while the nearby kitchen is often used to cook family meals. There's a ton of natural light here and a dining nook within a full wall of windows. Bella's mom often invites friends and family over and hosts at a long wooden table outside when the weather permits. It also seems the farm allows the family to really enjoy time together in the peace and quiet as well as the surrounding nature. Bella has been living in Manhattan for a while now and prior to the penthouse she just sold, she lived in a cozier apartment as well as another penthouse she shared with her ex the weekend. The model once had an apartment in the East Village area of New York City when she was 20, and even a one-bedroom apartment in her building would have cost around $1 million or more. After this, Bella moved in with her then-boyfriend the weekend, upgrading to a 60 k per month penthouse in the Tribeca neighborhood. This apartment spans 5,000 square feet of space with four beds and four baths over three levels, as well as an additional 1,000 square feet of outdoor space. An exclusive keyed elevator provided access to the unit's entryway, and inside there were double height ceilings along with spacious living spaces. The triplex had a sunny open layout living room with seven south facing windows and stunning views, while the chef's kitchen had a sub zero fridge and hidden upscale wine fridge. Other features here included custom wood cabinets, marble countertops, and double dishwashers. On the top level, a room with floor to ceiling glass opened to the private rooftop terrace, which was fully landscaped and equipped with lighting and speakers, as well as a full kitchen, perfect for barbecues. So now we've checked out Bella Hadid's properties, so that about wraps up this house tour. We saw her $6.5 million New York City penthouse she just sold, as well as her other former residences. And what did you guys think? What was your favorite feature at Bella's upscale Manhattan penthouse? I personally love the industrial aesthetic here, as well as the open concept and loft-like layout. Be sure to let me know what you liked or didn't like about the model's properties down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you want to chat, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!